you know, uh, wake up all these uh, oil palm growers, ask them to quicken the process, go for certification, especially when the government pay 100% for the oil palm uh, small holders. So we even pay also now 100% for all those who own oil palm plantation below 1,000 hectares. 100% certification cost will be paid and the uh, preparation cost uh, uh, of certification, the government will pay 50%. So the government is trying their very best uh, to help the oil palm plantation, the small owners and the big size uh, uh, owners to go for certification MSPO. I will, and the offer will, will end by uh, 31st December. We would like to uh, uh, urge all the oil palm uh, growers Please come for MSPO certification so that we can achieve that 100% certified, uh, you know, uh, palm oil. Uh, we can achieve this goal by 31st December. Uh, this target was set by uh, uh, the Premier Minister in 2017. Uh, the the reason being there is an Amsterdam Declaration 2020, where seven major countries in Europe they want. Uh, all the palm oil that enter into the European market to be 100% uh, certified sustainable palm oil. So uh, I think that was the backdrop. Uh, that, that was the reason why the previous minister set the target. And I don't intend to change it because we need to ride on the momentum. We are working very hard now. I, I must also say that in Sarawak, a lot of uh, rural uh, oil, oil, oil palm growers they started to come forward uh, to go for MSVO certification. That's why we need state government to help us. Uh. By the end of the year, it's not possible to achieve that 100% limit. If we, uh, you know, actually, uh, Tata Ahmad Douglas was the one that announced MSVO on a voluntary basis. Actually, up to 2017, 2013 announced voluntary year. Uh, until 2017, only half a million. Half a million uh, uh, hectare being certified under MSPO, and the country we have 5.85 million hectares of oil palm plantation. So if we go on like that, if we go for on voluntary basis, people are not serious and not coming uh, uh, forward. That's why to make it mandatory uh, is the way forward, and uh, I agree with that. That's why we are working very hard. This is about the Kalawi spoke spoke by the this region and within this spoke to your group kita dah mencapai dari 32 spoke 22 spoke telah disijilkan dan se 10 lagi kita yakin dapat disijilkan pada tahun tahun ini seperti yang Muhammad sebut tadi small holders yang pakai spoke pun tak ada masalah yang masalah adalah mereka yang mempunyai ladang luas between 100 to 1,000 acres Kerana kadang-kadang I call it in Buyobi Tuhan punya kebun tu tak tahu ke mana yeah. And that, that's where we are chasing them now But at the same time uh, The big plantation in Malaysia A lot of them also Getting RSPO certification About 900,000 hectare Already certified So there are two line of certification but RSPO is for those who can afford it. MSPO for those who cannot afford. That's why we push by the three.